to, we're going to go with the distaff next uh distaff what a massive race already up to two million uh dollars the post time will be 421 eastern the distance is nine furlongs or in old money one mile one furlong and it's on the dirt and there is some unbelievable horses in this race i mean the winner i'm going to give you the winner and see last year's winner idiomatic came out this morning came out was the biggest danger to my co-pilot I would say is his favourite horse this year am, am I being a bit presumptuous or can I say that four pedo Anna has been your favourite horse this year she has she has been and she hasn't let me down uh, her oh. only loss was a, a brilliant performance in the Travers yeah. when she uh, was running down fierceness the last uh, 50 yards at Saratoga going a mile and a quarter against the best three year old males uh, yeah I, I'm on four pedo and I have been all year I, I think she is a special three-year-old filly uh, that uh, we don't see more than uh, once a decade here or so. Uh, I was excited of, about the thought of her first race against older uh, fillies and mares to to have a horse like Idiomatic last year's winner and a real big, uh, a tough mare who likes to get out there on the lead for a Torpedo Anna to run against. But now we just found out uh, Idiomatic is sore. She won't be ready to come back, so she's been retired. Without her in the race, it, it affects the pace. It also affects the odds, and it affects, uh, yeah, Torpedo Anna's uh, number one competition in the distance. She wins. Uh, simple as that. Now I've got to find something later on in this card to stick with it, or you go with something maybe on the day before. Maybe I'll throw one into you a bit later that you've given me that I don't want you to give to me, but I've got to bow down because I know that you are right. You know when you know someone's right and you still want to argue? That was me with Brian over this horse over the last uh, five or six weeks. Let's have a little look at this clip, though. I picked up the uh, the American Oaks. I could have gone with the Kentucky Oaks. So, you know, Kentucky Derby, day before four the Phillies run and listen she's one to four right and this is a grade one and here she is just cruising around the outside and I'll let you call her own bro yeah she just took the lead with the white cap there and, and and part of this race was that she broke poorly and there was a good speed horse that you still see there on the rail uh that she had to chase after breaking poorly and she she's such a push button horse that she did enough after the break to get good position in second then Leslie's Rose, the speed horse, uh, opened up a little bit on the backstretch. And again, Brian Hernandez Jr., the, the, the regular rider, Torpedo Anna, just pushed a button. And you can see how dominant she is there. Another good horse rallied for second, Candied. I think Candied is, a, is one to consider underneath. But uh, now with Idiomatic out, Torpedo Anna so high uh, in our estimation, Flash, I, I think I'll be looking for multi-race wagers where I can single out Torpedo Anna as a horse that's going to win this race and look to combine with other races and yeah. look for uh, something that pays a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, and, and uh, funnily enough, the next race could well be that, um, or the day before. I mean, you can play with three or four. I think it's an absolute certainty. I think it'll be one of the, the biggest upsets that we've seen in a good few years. I mean, you have talking horses. This is not a talking horse. This is a horse that's won the Kentucky Oaks, then carried on winning, won the American Oaks, and then got beaten... In the Travers by the Kentucky Derby favourite, that another five yards would have won. Another five, ten yards, and she would have took past all of them. And I'm talking Sierra Leone, Door Knock, all of the big winners throughout the year. And she basically could have, well, she did more. She did more than uh, stand her ground. She actually was in there pump, kicking, punching, like any uh, self respecting filly would do. Mm -hmm.